All right, guys. So first up is going to be uh, Peck Deck. Uh, ours is going to be a Prime one. So for those of you using the Prime stuff, we're going to be doing it on setting we know, five lately, which is uh, beginning and middle overloaded. Um, Chances are, if you're using a pec deck where you can't adjust the resistance profile, it should be cammed in a way to where it's approximately that. It should be getting lighter as you move through the movement. But anyways, biggest things that we want to keep in mind with this are, you know, A, the setup. Where do you want to have the seat? And then B, torso and hip positioning. And then lastly, the actual range of motion for the exercise. So for seat height... <coughs> We want to think about setting the seat in a height that allows us to get our arm at this natural path of motion. So we don't want to have our hand way above or way below our shoulder. Everything relatively should be in a pretty damn straight line. So wrist, elbow, shoulder, you know, carrying across into the other side, elbow, or shoulder, wrist, elbow. Everything's relatively in a straight line. And that is, you know, you're trying to put the line of pull or the line of force through those pec fibers. So that's why we want to have our hand relatively around there. Not way up or way down, because doing so will put a lot of torque one way or the other on our shoulder and our elbow joints. So, once we have the height set, what we want to think about is our hip positioning. Um, a lot of pec necks, if you really put your hips back in them and anchor your chest on the pad, will have you very much so like straight, straight up and down, and will really limit the range of motion you're able to get uh, through your chest and shoulder. So, what I would encourage you to do is play around with your hip positioning. Try scooting them out a little to where you can see. So here at the very top, I'm like a little forward and concave. I want to be able to keep a proud chest and keep that line of pull in the chest. So scoot your hips out enough to where, you know, you see everything line up and you'll be able to see that from the side whenever I'm actually training. But Last thing that we want to do is really pay attention to our range of motion. So this is an exercise that you can, you know, let go way back here and, you know, have absolutely no tension through your pecs and all of it in like your shoulder capsule and your joint, or you can keep an active range of motion, meaning our shoulders are down and back. The shoulders are going to move on this exercise as they are. I'm pressing any pressing or flying exercise, but you don't want to have them flying up from the start. So down, back. I'm really bracing myself back into the machine. I'm thinking about stretching as far as I can while keeping that armpit lined up. So think about if you're doing a fly, but you're on a bench facing straight up. I want that armpit facing straight up towards the ceiling the whole time. Same thing with the fly. We want to keep that armpit facing straight out the whole time. We don't want to have any of that or any of that through any of the range of motion. So whenever you're coming back, if you have to go like that to get it farther, or roll forward to get it farther, you're out of the range of motion that we're after. So nice full stretch while keeping that armpit pointed, coming to a full contraction. And you'll see I'm not focusing on doing this, getting my hands together. What I am focused on is getting my bicep to my pec. Your pec's job is to uh, add up to your arm across your body. So all that we're after is getting that humerus as far across our chest as possible, knowing that it can't go past the midline because the full contraction the full contraction. So you can see where my hand is in relationship to my bicep, my bicep and my pec. So if I do this on both sides, that is as contracted as my chest is going to get. I have a big proud chest, my shoulders are back. To get my hands any closer, I'm either bending my elbow, rolling my shoulders forward, or losing that proud chest. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. Um, I'll show you all one or two of the touches and show you what a full effort set looks like. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Two. Yep. Whoa.